Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce General Laura Richardson, Commander of the United States Southern Command. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Buenos dias. Bom dia. How is everyone doing today? <laughs> okay. You want to do the warrior stance today? Let's do the warrior, Southcom warrior stance. We, we do have some new people here today, uh, but it is uh, really good to see everybody. And I want to make sure the translation is going well. So someone give me, give me a thumbs up. That, uh, OK, all right, very good. So on your feet. <laughs> want to properly welcome, properly welcome everybody to United States Southern Command. It is good to see everybody. It's early this morning. We have some wonderful nourishing rain that's happening outside. And, uh, and it's just good to see everyone. And I want to thank you for being here. But, uh, to get us motivated for the, today's events. We have lots to do, and we probably will do this a couple more times throughout the day. It's like the seventh inning stretch, but the, uh, um, I'm really excited for today's conference. So with that, we'll go ahead and we'll do one, and uh, everybody enjoy. Ah! <laughs> I would like to recognize our human rights team that put this whole conference together uh, for today. This is, conferences are not easy, they're tough, and, uh, but uh, for our human rights team, if you all could please stand up, and the protocol team, and everybody that uh, does a, a, such a great job to, to get everything together. So don't be bashful, stand up. <laughs> And then we're very grateful that we have such a nice conference facility to be able to do this conference in in the first place. And so for my two uh, former commanders of the United States Southern Command, thank you very much uh, for being here as well. But I want to acknowledge our very special guests because we do have Congresswoman Gloria Navas from Costa Rica. Congresswoman, thank you for being here. It's good to see you. And we have Minister of Defense, uh, uh, Jose Zelaya from Honduras, so very much uh, thank you for being here. We have the minister from uh, Guyana that is here as well, so thank you so much for being here. And uh, we have former Southcom commanders, General John Kelly and Admiral Kurt Tidd uh, that are here, and so it's really very special to have you here. Chiefs of Defense from uh, Honduras, Colombia, Belize, and Guyana. So we have Major General Helder Geraldo. Uh, Helder, thank you for uh, being here and making this a priority this morning and today uh, for being here. And uh, we have Vice Admiral Jose Fortin from Honduras. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, Brigadier, uh, Brigadier Godfrey Bess from Guyana, thank you for being here today. And, uh, and Rear Admiral Bor uh, Borland, Belize uh, Chad. So thank you for being here uh, today. Where's, uh, right there. Thank you for being here. Uh, we also have other um, members of the Human Rights Initiative from Dominican Republic, El Salvador, Guatemala, Panama, Paraguay, and Peru. Um, I want to welcome our DASD from Western Hemisphere, OSD Policy, Dan Erickson. So Dan, uh, really important you're here, so thank you for being here. Uh, we have representatives from State Department uh, that are here, uh, very close cooperation and collaboration that we have with our State Department, State Department counterparts um, in the Western Hemisphere, so it's really important that you're here as well. And, um, but thank you for making the effort uh, as well. We have eight uh, NGOs that are represented here today. I did an a NGO roundtable yesterday afternoon. I really appreciate the time uh, that we had together. And uh, that was something that was started by the further, former commanders from United States Southern Command as well. And that's something that we take very seriously, and it's always good to hear from our, um, 
uh, our NGOs. They have representation on the ground. Uh, they communicate a lot with you uh, as well in the partner nation countries. And uh, your perspective is uh, very much important and uh, one that I value tremendously. So uh, I really thank you for being here. There are many security challenges in our hemisphere right now, and it rightly demands our attention. And so I'm personally grateful for everybody uh, making this human rights a big priority, uh, not just for today, uh, but in your countries. A heartfelt thank you to our members of Congress. So I, I will show here in a few minutes uh, a video from Senator Marco Rubio, as well as Representative Norma Torres, uh, who will um, provide their remarks about human rights. And so I think from, I call the, the Congress our board of directors, the oversight that they have of, uh, our, of our military forces uh, in the United States and the close relationship that we have with them. So look forward to hearing uh, their remarks in the videos. But today is an opportunity for us to take stock in how far that we've come with championing, championing human rights in this shared neighborhood and recommit ourselves to furthering the human rights programs. But so far, a brief review of the past 25 years in the United States Southern Command human rights uh, but to review this, what I'd like to do is show you a video that my team has put together here from Southcom, and we'll go ahead and roll the video.
Okay. What'd you think of the video?